These animated mamas got it going on. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon MILFs. Okay, is this tofu or eggs? It's an organic chicken lumpette. Don't change the subject. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the moms from animated series that have a sexy edge to them. I know of no cure for such a spell, Conan. For your sake, I sincerely wish I did. Number 10, Mom, Dexter's Laboratory. You foo, mothers do not get sick. Behold, the ultimate housewife. And we're not kidding. This lady practically lives to cook, clean, and maintain the house. Though thankfully this is taken to hilarious degrees to inspire comedy rather than offense. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> How nice. Um, has anybody seen my gloves? I'd kind of like to start cleaning. However, it can't be denied that Dexter's mom certainly isn't lacking in the curve department. While rarely seen without her trademark gloves and apron, it's still clear that this little lady is quite the looker. Need a little more to go on? Well, there was that one time she wore a bikini. Ready to get wet? Number 9. Trudy Proud, The Proud Family. Oscar, stop. You're overreacting. Well-to-do, veterinarian, nurturing mother. Dr. Trudy Proud truly has her life sorted out. You have to let them know you're not afraid. Yeah! Though she has no problem with laying down the law as the matriarch of the house, Trudy is devoted to her three children above all else. If you don't wise up and wise up soon, you're gonna lose a very good friend in the process. Not to mention the animals put in her care. Sounds like a dream match, right? Well, just as long as you don't step out of line. Because if you do, you do not want to be in the same room when the good doctor flies into a rage. Just ask Oscar. Oscar, look what you made us do. Just get me down. Number eight, Jane Jetson, The Jetsons. Oh, you have a sense of humor. Just because the world has turned into a utopia filled with flying cars and robot nannies doesn't mean sexy housewives are a thing of the past. While she's well known for her love of shopping, tending to the house, and all other manner of stereotypes, I can't let her see me looking like this. I've got to put on my morning mask. I'll be right there, George. <laughs> it's not to say Mrs. Jetson doesn't stand out as a symbol of sci-fi sexiness in her own right. She's the head of her own company, makes a mean meatloaf, is a total gadget nut, and pulls off a purple dress like no other. Jane is by far the best thing to come out of 2062. You don't have to tell me, George. Number seven, Susan Long, American Dragon, Jake Long. Thank you, I'll take it from here. Hello, everybody. She may not have the ability to turn into a dragon like her children, but Mrs. Long still manages to put a fire under her fans. Despite the fact that she's descended from an ancient bloodline of Chinese dragons, Susan Long remains confined to her humanoid form due to a generational skip. Though, to be honest, we're pretty sure no one really minds, given that said humanoid form is pretty easy on the eyes. What do you mean Bjorn isn't there yet? A self-made woman whose love for her family is only matched by her draconic wit. We can safely say there has never been a sexier magical reptile in all of animation. Oh my, I can totally explain. Number six, Dr. Anne Possible, Kim Possible. Who's a hottie? We're not talking about it. Her daughter may be the super spy, but this doctor easily surpasses her in our eyes. Sure, she's not kicking ass, taking names, and dealing with high school drama, but with a smile like that, can you really disagree with us? As a neurosurgeon, Dr. Possible's sharp mind is only matched by the love she has for her family. You boys are burning up. Could we have some more chicken soup? While she may not be the ideal mission companion, she more than makes up for that by helping Kim through the awkward phases of growing up. Dad made me give you these. Weren't those on the hall table? With no end to her brains, beauty, and general caring nature, we bet you'd be happy to make an appointment with this doctor anytime. Nicely done, Mom. I'm kind of fun, too. Number five, Lana Kane, Archer. Okay, me too, a little, but only because the CIA blacklisted us. Granted, she only became a mother in season five, but we'll be damned if we'll miss out on the opportunity to talk about arguably the sexiest secret agent ever put to animation. Whoa. Yeah. I, I had black eye. On again, off again lover of badass jerk Sterling Archer, Lana is by no means a damsel, using her impressive espionage and combat abilities to easily accomplish her increasingly zany missions. She also more than excels at seduction. And if anybody's not over anybody, it's you! With your, 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 
Your... Mm. 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 While she's shown herself to be a great mom, she has in no way lost that sensual gunslinger personality that makes her so irresistible. I am so angry at you right now. Well, you shouldn't give me that power. Ah! Number four, Betty Rubble, the Flintstones. I'm... Oh, Barney, what a wonderful surprise. She's the gal next door who manages to light up the Stone Age. Though her character rarely goes beyond socializing with Wilma and putting her foot down when Fred and Barney get themselves into trouble. While her love for Barney and their son Bam Bam is unquestionable, her sass and tendency to not let her husband get away with any of Fred's harebrained antics make her a strict yet oddly entertaining character to watch. But Betty, honey, it didn't cost much. Besides, Fred got a new one too. So, do you have to do everything Fred does? You have to admire that in a cavewoman, especially one who can pull off that blue dress. That's right, isn't that thrilling? Number three, Marge Simpson, The Simpsons. <clears throat> Thanks. She made the front page of Playboy magazine. What else do you need to know? Undoubtedly one of the most compassionate and respectable characters in all of animation, Marge certainly makes a strong contender for mother of the decade in our books. And I'll bring my husband to do a little malpractice on you! Yes, your husband. I'm sure he's going to be furious. That being said, she's not without her naughty side, as her husband can very much attest to. <laughs> Her love of snuggling and raunchy exploits across the long-running series are pretty well known. While it may have its issues, her marriage is definitely a spicy one. And Homer's a lucky guy. Homer, I've got great news! I'll use my one phone call to find out all about it! Number two, Lois Griffin, Family Guy. Uh, I feel like that fat-ass British girl from Titanic. Speaking of spicy, Naughty doesn't even begin to cover Lois's personality. From her increasingly kinky relationship with Peter, all the way to her many, many, many past conquests, Lois is still rocking it during the later years of her life. She cares for her children, some of the time. It's just that she would rather have fun and the occasional hookup with former U.S. presidents. Wow, you certainly are very persuasive. We also have to knock off a few motherly points for that one time she tried to gun down her youngest child with a Gatling gun. But hey, at least it was badass. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Danny's just shooting up so fast. Those special times seem to be slipping away. Then I obviously sort of love you, don't I? So stop asking and maybe I'll love you more. Do you know what time it is? I had to run some errands for Mr. Wayne. I'm beat. I got a call from your school today. They said you were sleeping in class again. Ooh, busted! What's going on, Terry? Nothing. I've just been busy. Number one, Francine Smith, American Dad. You have a sex garden that was on the cover of Sex Garden magazine! There are trophy wives, and then there's Francine. Her overt sexiness is so palpable that her own son has a creepy obsession with her. In fact, her attractiveness almost makes you forget about her more psychotic tendencies. Anyway, if you don't want to eat it, I can fix something else. She's apparently slept with most of North America, has no problem resorting to violence if her comfortable lifestyle is interrupted, and once tried to eliminate George Clooney. George Clooney's head is about to have a big opening weekend. Yet, through all of it, she still retains her feisty nature, to the point where nothing seems to diminish her sexiness only in America. I'm 